There's a battle brewing in City Hall over a proposal to shrink the size of the Board of Estimates. If approved, two seats on the board that are currently occupied by the mayoral appointees would be cut. Now, Mayor Brandon Scott had harsh words for that plan this week, and tonight, Fox 45's Mackenzie Frost has details. She's live in our newsroom. Mackenzie? Yeah, Kai, this charter amendment was introduced by Council President Nick Mosby right after he lost re-election to Councilman Zeke Cohen. The council president is seeking to ask voters and giving them the decision to see if the mayor has too much power over the city spending board and not just this mayor, but mayors in the future as well. Currently, the city spending board is made up of the mayor and two of his appointees, the city solicitor and the director of the Department of Public Works, which those two appointees usually vote in lockstep. But this charter amendment seeks to remove those two appointees, leaving the only three citywide uh, elected officials on the board which would be the mayor, the city council president, and the city comptroller. Now, yesterday, the mayor was asked about this charter amendment from council president Nick Mosby, and the mayor had some pretty interesting words. We can't look at charter amendments as a one-off. Uh, when you have folks who are uh, uh, pushing charter amendments to reduce the city council, uh, folks who push uh, charter amendments to uh, um, push term limits, who have funded super PACs. We have to look at all of these <clears throat> and understand how they're very interconnected. You cannot take uh, that one chart amendment that was introduced by the council president with very good intentions, and he is not trying to attack uh, uh, black political power by no means on his own. But when you look at these efforts by folks who are being funded by folks who don't live in Baltimore, right, who are not from the city, who are trying to shrink political power in Baltimore. Now, in 2020, when Brandon Scott was the council president, he too introduced a similar charter amendment seeking to remove the two appointees from the mayor's office who sat on the board of estimates. Now it's unclear exactly where the mayor stands on this specific charter amendment, but at the time when he was city council president, Brandon Scott said he was concerned that the makeup of the board of estimates was not rooted in democracy. Yeah, Mackenzie, uh, as far as we know, what's the reaction to the proposed charter amendment from Council President Nick Mosby? Well, I reached out to his office today and spoke with a spokesperson about getting a comment or a statement or even an interview. But as of right now, we don't have an interview lined up and I don't have a statement from his office. However, I did get a statement from Comptroller Bill Henry, who seems to be very much in support of this plan. He said that ever since he was elected to the city council in 2007, something similar has been introduced. And his statement says, quote, I think it's time to stop talking about it and do it. It's an idea whose time has come and I support it 100%. Now the comptroller also pointed me in the direction and gave me three other quotes that he used in support of his position and they're interesting. I want to read you a, one of them. Here's one of those quotes. It says, currently if the mayor wants a contract before the board of, to be approved, it will be approved even when my questions are unanswered and even when the public has serious concerns. The only thing that can change this dynamic is structural change that transforms how we do business here in Baltimore. Now that quote actually came from Brandon Scott from a directly from his 2020 news release when he announced his introduction of this similar charter amendment to change the BOE's makeup. As of for the council president's charter amendment, it would have to be approved by the rest of the council and approved by the mayor, and then it would head to the ballot for voters to decide in November. We're live in the newsroom, Mackenzie Frost, Fox 45 News. Oh, very interesting, Mackenzie. Thank you. That brings us to our question of the day. Do you think shrinking the Board of Estimates is a good idea? To make your voice heard, head to foxbaltimore.com slash vote. I'm Mary Bubala. Thank you for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also take some time to subscribe to our YouTube channel.